All right, guys, so I'm assuming that you guys are pretty good with your action words, right? Eating, sleeping, um, chatting, talking, texting, driving, drawing, right? Those action words are all can all be used for our predicates. When we're looking for our subject and our predicate in a sentence, those are the really easy ones to spot, the, the real action verbs, the things that we can see our character doing. Kicking, kick, punch, throw, okay, uh, eat, jump. Those are all really simple action words that characters, yes, and um, subjects can do in a sentence, right? And they can be used to spot our predicate in a sentence, but... I want to talk about the ones that aren't so easy to spot, the ones we call non-action verbs, the ones that aren't such obvious actions, right? And they like to hide sometimes in sentences. We have helping verbs, and we have linking verbs, right? Now, on this slide, you might see a couple of examples, pretty much almost all of them. There's a lot of them, but you got most of them right there for you, the most common ones. Let's look at some of the helping verbs, some of those non-action words that are hard to spot sometimes. Sometimes we have words like is, was, were, can, could, might, right? Those can all be used to spot helping verbs, okay? Linking verbs, guess what type of words linking verbs have? Is, was, were, can, could, might. Guess what? They share the same words. Just the function and the way they work in the sentence is different and how we spot a helping verb versus a linking verb, okay? A helping verb, doo -doo 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 -doo. let's say I have a sentence like, Mr. Shanklin, Mr. Shanklin walking down the street, Mr. Shanklin walking down the street. Does this sentence sound a little off to you? For those of you saying yes, it should, okay? It should sound off to you. There's something missing. Mr. Shanklin walking down the street, that doesn't make sense. Helping verbs are there to do just that. They are there to help you, to help the main verb so the whole sentence comes together and makes sense. If I have a verb like walking, I have to put a helping verb in front of it so that it all comes together and makes sense. For example, let's we could throw is in here or was. Mr. Shanklin is walking down the street. Okay? This is the part of our sentence containing the verb, our predicate. Okay? Whew. Thank you, is, for helping me out and making sense. Helping my sentence make sense. All right? That's what we needed. So our helping verb sometimes can be hard to spot. Now, obviously, you would still see the verb, okay? but that is really helps it a lot. Now the linking verb is very, very different because you don't need an action word like walking to help you out to, to find easily. Because I could have a sentence like, Mr. Shanklin is happy. Okay? Where's the verb in this one? is still, right? Is is a linking verb, but why? Why is is a linking verb? Is is a linking verb because what does the word link mean? Link means to connect, right? To come together. This linking verb is, is helping the idea of Mr. Shanklin being happy come together. This sentence cannot make sense without is, all right, even if I said was, okay, or Mr. Shanklin could be happy, okay, we need verbs like this in order for certain sentences to make sense, the helping verb helps main verbs, so the sentence doesn't fall apart, and does it not make sense, and the linking verb 
doesn't need a verb at all to help out. It is there simply to connect one idea, one piece of information to the subject. I want to give you the information that Mr. Shanklin is happy, and I need that verb right there to make sense. So verbs like is, am, was, were, they can all be used to link an idea. I am great. Ha. I needed that to connect the idea of me being great to the subject of I. Okay? All right. Next one. 